You know, there are times in one's life as a politician when you have to say, up with this, we will not put no further. And I think we've got about to that stage with the French government at the moment. I think Boris Johnson should actually tell the French people exactly what President Macron is up to, because it is quite clear in this fishing dispute that he's playing to the gallery. He's playing to the gallery because he had faces an election in May 2022, and he knows that the best way to win a French election is to have a spat with the British. Um, <laughs> that, that has been the case all through history, and it's no doubt the case now. He's basically trying to be... I mean, he's, he suffers from little man syndrome, doesn't he, Macron, frankly? He's, a, he's another Bonaparte. We all know who won that particular dispute, do we not? Now, I'm not saying this to be jingoistic, but I think this is one of those cases where right is on the side of the UK government and indeed the government of the Channel Islands and Jersey and Guernsey, because that's where the dispute ar arose, because... According to the French, uh, we, we I say we, it's actually Jersey and Guernsey, haven't issued enough licences to French fisher people. Um, we have issued quite a lot. We've actually issued 98% of those requested um, in British waters all round. But yes, it is true that I think there are about 75 licences that haven't been issued by the authorities in the Channel Islands. And the reason for that is that the French boats can't prove that they were fishing in those waters before Brexit happened. Now, it is quite clear in the agreements that they have to do that. And if they don't, then they can't get a licence. Now, today, I think Jersey has issued some more licences. So we have been trying to act with, um, I think, sweetness and light uh, towards the French fisher people. But that hasn't been reciprocated on the other side. Because you may remember a few weeks ago, I interviewed the Jersey Foreign Minister, Ian Gorst, and I asked him how many licences the French fishing authorities had issued to boats from the Channel Islands. And the answer came back, two. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I think that's the phrase, isn't it? Now, the, the, it's all been escalated in the last few days because the French have said, well, if you don't issue these licences and do what we say, uh, we won't allow British boats to land their catches in French ports. Not only that... Uh, we will disrupt traffic at Calais. We will stop trucks. We'll do um, more checks than we do at the moment. And if we don't get our own way, we might consider cutting power to Jersey. That's not the action of a friendly country, is it? Now, they say, well, this is the only language the British understand. Well, it's very interesting that the European Commission has not come to the aid of France in this. They, they appear to think that France has gone way over the top. And the British government today has responded by saying, well, they think that it breaks the withdrawal agreement or the trade agreement, and it also breaks international law. So we'll see where that one goes. And tonight, it's been revealed that the Foreign Secretary has called in the French ambassador to meet the Europe Minister, Wendy Morton. Now, that will antagonise the French, because normally it would be the Foreign Secretary her herself who saw the ambassador, but uh, he's going to see the junior minister, Wendy Morton, for an interview without coffee, sans café. Well, we'll see what comes out of that. But I think this is going to escalate before it de-escalates. <laughs> 